Well, the RT-235 ran out of batteries, and instead of putting a new battery in it, I decided to, to bring out the double E and give her a workout. Um, it seems that there's a lot of roots and in this area here where I'm going to be making the road. Uh, just back there where the fence is, that's going to be the official proving grounds where we load trucks and whatnot. And then over here is just going to be a general digging area for play. So based on the ground here, I think I'm going to bring in some sort of uh, topsoil or, or sand or something and then I'll be rolling it because it's all rooted up and you know I mean it'd be hard to compact that with a shovel myself um, because it's very hard so in the meantime we're gonna we're gonna move this this dirt here in this area and here and we're gonna move it back on that side over here yep, yep so we'll just do that and I think we'll finish out the day like that Plus, I think it's about ready to start raining. Try not to hit the C01, she's brand new. So that's, that's digging slow, showing you guys that this machine can be controlled. And then here I am doing it as fast, like the way I like to do it. I like to dig fast, but you know, everybody, everyone has their own way of operating. And I wanted to show people that, you know, this double E conversion from North States can be, you know, very delicate as well as decently fast. It's not as fast as some of the, the uh, 1580 mods that you could do out there. But um, I think it's sufficient if you really want to be loading the truck quick or moving some dirt fast. And then it has the ability to, to grade and go nice and slow if needed. Trying to do it like my dad taught me, no wasted movements. Yeah, a little too much boom up right there. Oh, I didn't drop that bucket too well. That would have been embarrassing. All right, let's go get my heat gun and see how hot she's getting. I got the heat gun. Let's let's run her a little bit more and then let's see how hot she gets. Right now I'm not operating for any sort of 
precision. I'm just trying to put it through its paces so I can get her hot, as hot as possible. Let's see, because I've been, I was gonna put a radiator in here, but I think she runs cooler than the 1580 conversions. are stuck on something and just drag. Yeah, she got stuck there a little bit. Good. Alright. Let's see guys. Let's get over here. Let's test out. That's not that hot at all. Man, she runs really cool. I mean, that is ridiculous that that's that cool. I mean, my my 1580s, they'll get well into the 120s inside. I mean, there's, there's no warmth. I mean, it's really, it's really insane how cool this machine stays. Alrighty, well I think I think that's gonna conclude my videos for today. I'm gonna to go ahead and and get started on uh, uh, you know working on a uh, US01 that's gonna be uh, called the Fawn Z Axis, and uh, yeah, just wanted to come out and get a little dig in before the rain.